the Queen was left disappointed when Meghan Markle rejected her invite to Balmoral in favor of a weekend break to New York to see her best friend. The Duchess of Sussex flew to New York on a commercial flight on Friday to see her best friend Serena Williams play in the Women's US Open final. However, her weekend trip clashed with the Queen's invite to Balmoral to watch the Highland Games. According to Royal Insiders, Meghan's decision proved disappointing. The Mail on Sunday said the Queen was hurt and disappointed at a time when she likes to bring her friends and family together. Royal insiders have claimed the Queen had been looking forward to a few days of merry chaos with her great-grandchildren. Meghan and Prince Harry's son Archie Harrison is still yet to visit Balmoral with Harry and Meghan claiming he is still too young. Unlike other royal couples, Meghan and Harry declined a visit to Balmoral to see the Queen on her annual Scottish holiday. However, Meghan's spokeswoman said it was because the couple were too busy with work. The spokeswoman also added that Meghan took a commercial British Airways plane from London Heathrow to visit New York over the weekend. Meghan cheered on Serena who eventually lost the match against 19-year-old Canadian Bianca Andreescu in the women's singles final. Although Harry and Meghan did not join the Queen at the Highland Games on Saturday, Prince Charles and Camilla did attend. The Queen was seen wearing a vibrant purple coat and matching hat as she joined the crowds at the annual event. Prince Charles was seen laughing with Autumn and Peter Phillips who is the son of the Queen's daughter, Princess Anne. Charles is known as the Duke of Rothsey in Scotland. The Queen also hosted Prime Minister Boris Johnson and his girlfriend Carrie Simons. However, Mr Johnson was forced to cut his trip short after a politically tumultuous week. The Highland Games are held on the first Saturday of September at the Princess Royal and Duke of Fife Memorial Park. Events at the Games include tossing the cover, hammer throwing and a tug-go war. The event also includes traditional pipe bands and Highland dancers. The popular event has been running since 1832 and is organized by the Braemar Royal Highland Society. President David Geddes said before this year's event, we're expecting a large crowd, we have less than 100 seats left, and there are 7,000. We've also sold a large number of ground tickets for entry to the park which is unusual, because we don't normally sell them till the day. We're expecting a good crowd. Last year the Queen attended alongside Prince Charles and Princess Anne.